Hello everyone. In this video, I was going to discuss the distribution of marks in agriculture optional paper 2024. So we will see how the marks were distributed among uh, different subjects. Among different subjects. In agri optional. So we will see how the marks were distributed among different subjects in agriculture optional. So we will also see the trend analysis between uh, 2023 and 2024. So which area was given more importance and which area was given the least importance. So that we will uh, compare between the 2023 and 2024. So let's directly move into the video. So first we will see the paper one. Before moving into the video, just uh, keep two things in mind. In civil service, there were one check is there will be a compulsory question. So compulsory question can be answered. Compulsory question can be answered only if, only if you entirely cover the syllabus. You cannot skip any part of the syllabus. So just keep it in mind. There is compulsory question in civil services and you have to you don't have any other option but to answer it compulsorily. And the second one is there will be a combination of questions like one question might be there from ecology and one question might be there from other part like agronomy or weed science. So there will be a combination of questions. Combination of questions from different parts. So I was giving this overview just to have the rough idea like which subject was given more importance and which subject was given least importance in agriculture optional. So if you take the uh, paper one, paper one con consists of around eight subjects. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So paper one consists of around eight subjects. And in that, from the ecology, they have asked nearly three questions. Nearly three questions were came from ecology. In the y-axis, I have given the number of questions. Y-axis denotes the number of questions. Number of questions. And the x-axis is denoting the subjects, list of subjects. X-axis was denoting the list of subjects. So in agronomy, they have asked four questions. In the 2024 paper one of agriculture optional, they have asked four questions from agronomy. And only one question from wheat science. They have asked only one question from wheat science. From forestry, they have asked nearly two questions. And soil science was given like around 3.5, like three questions, three questions plus half question. That is part of question was asked. So totally 3.5 questions were asked from soil science. Like one question they have asked like uh, uh, compare conventional tillage and conservative tillage. So first part was from SWC and the second part that is soil factors affecting greenhouse ga gas emission. So the second part was from soil science. That's why I have given 3.5. So totally 3.5 questions were asked from soil science. And from the SWC they have asked 7.5 questions. So they have asked seven questions and half of the question that is uh, differentiate the conventional tillage and conservative tillage. So by including those questions, it will come around 7.5. And from economics, they have asked nearly three questions. Nearly three questions were from economics and four questions were from extension. So in the paper one, which subject was given much more importance? So this one, soil water conservation was given the more importance and least importance was given to the subjects like wheat science and uh, forestry. These were given very less importance, whereas the subject like SWC was given more importance. So let's see the paper two. So in the paper two, it consists of uh, nearly seven subjects. One, two, three, four, five, six, and totally seven subjects 
and the and in paper 2 from cell biology or genetics we can say cell biology or genetics also we can say so from this area they have asked nearly four questions so from the genetics they have asked nearly four question and from plant breeding they have asked nearly 5.5 question like five questions they have asked part of the question they have asked from other area 0.5 like they have asked this time mode of action of bacillus thuringiensis mode of action of bacillus thuringiensis so it was covered actually in the genetic engineering part of plant breeding and the part of the question they have given one chemical and they have asked that uh, mode of action so part of the question was there from plant protection and the question was partially covered in plant breeding so totally plant breeding covers 5.5 questions and from seed technology they have asked nearly 3 questions and from plant physiology plant physiology was given the highest importance the, so the number of questions asked from plant physiology was highest and it was 6 questions six question was asked from plant physiology and from horticulture and landscaping they have asked only two question and from plant production they have asked uh, somewhat uh, 2.5 questions and lastly the food production it was a simple topic simple area so from this area they have given they have given uh, like nearly five question were asked from the food production you just compare plant physiology one of the toughest part in paper 2 and food production it was very very easy you can cover it within uh, like four days you can cover the food production part so the both were having the equal almost equal number of questions here six questions were asked and from food production they have asked nearly five questions so in paper 2 they have asked more questions from plant physiology and only very less number of questions were asked from the areas like horticulture and the plant production but most of the agri optional students will worry because of these two subjects like horticulture they will always worry about it because they have to read lot of package of practices like that they will think but they have given very less importance in uh, paper 2 and similarly plant production they have to they will think that they have to cover lot of pest and disease but they have asked only just two question or 2.5 questions only were asked from this part so you can have the rough idea like which question was given much more importance while comparing with the other uh, subjects so we will also see like whether this this trend like i have given number of questions from different uh, subjects in agriculture optional whether this trend was repeating or not repeating so that we can decide after comparing it with the previous questions so now let's see the paper 1 trend analysis here we were comparing the questions with the previous year that is 2023 so we were comparing the paper 1 between the years 2023 and 2024 so in the diagram in the bar in the bar chart i was uh, i have depicted the white colored bars for 2023 questions whereas the red colored bars were given for 2024 question so you can see from ecology in 2023 this one is 2023 and this one is 2024 so in 2023 they have asked four questions whereas in 2024 they have asked nearly three questions there were no changes almost very slight changes were there similarly in agronomy same number of questions were repeated in 2023 they have asked four question in 2024 also they have asked four question whereas for wheat science merely minor changes were there last year they have asked two question whereas in this year they have asked only one question forestry it was remains unchanged it remains unchanged there were subjects like forestry and agriculture agriculture extension it was it remains un, unchanged the same number of questions were repeated in like the previous year so in soil science in the last year they have asked three questions whereas in this year they have asked 3.5 three question plus half, half of the questions they have asked similarly for swc they have asked in the last year they have asked nearly six questions whereas in this year they have asked 7.5 questions last year they have asked six questions whereas in this year they have asked nearly 7.5 questions same for the agriculture economics also in the last year they have asked nearly four question whereas in this year they have asked only three questions so what i want to convey is the same pattern was repeating almost plus or minus one question or 1.5 question was there but otherwise this number of questions remains same so let's see the paper 2 trend so here i was comparing the paper 2 
between the years 2023 and 2024 so as i have mentioned paper 2 consists of seven subjects so the white colored bar is depicting the 2023 question and the red colored bar is depicting the 2024 question so in the year 2023 they have asked five question from genetics they have asked five question from genetics or cell biology whereas only four question was asked in 2024 that one question fluctuations were there one or 1 1.5 uh, question fluctuation was there it was acceptable you just see plan bidding here one question was compromised and that one question was added here so in the previous year in 2023 they have asked nearly four question whereas in 2023 23 they have asked nearly four question whereas in the year 2024 they have asked 5.5 questions in 2024 so that 1 to 1.5 deviation was there in uh, in almost all the subjects so that was acceptable for seed technology, the same number of questions were repeated. For the subjects like seed technology, plant physiology, and food, food production, the same number of questions were repeated. Like both the years, they have asked three questions. For seed technology, they have asked three questions in both the years. For plant physiology, they have asked six questions in both the years. For food production, they have asked five questions in 2023, both in 2023 and in 2024. Well, for example, in the subject like horticulture, in the previous year, they have asked three questions. Whereas in this year, that is 2024, they have asked, they have reduced the number of questions to 2020. Uh, they have reduced the number of questions to two. Similarly, for plant production, in the previous year, they have asked two questions. Whereas in this year, they have increased the number to 2.5 questions. 2.5. So, by looking at the bar, bar diagram, you can, con you can conclude that in paper 1, so much weightage was given to the subject like SWC. Paper 2, more importance was given to the subjects like plant physiology and food production. Also, the plant breeding. So, that's it. Subscribe the channel to get the updates. And I have created the created a group in uh, telegram so if you want you can join this group also so if you have any queries you can you can uh, whatsapp the query to my number you can also mail mail your questions to my mail id so thanks for watching thank you